All right, so let's talk about a very important tool that is undo. Everyone make mistake, but only lucky people get a chance to uh, recover the mistake from from the mistake, or you can say you can undo the mistake. So yeah, you're lucky if you're using GitHub, since we know that GitHub tracks all the things that we are doing. So yeah, we can revert any mistake that we made on GitHub. Now, the thing is. Not only the GitHub, I mean the mistake that we'll make with the with, with our code. Uh, so we can revert that mistake by using GitHub or Git Bash. So um, so we can make different types of mistakes. For for example, what if we want to undo our code before we have run the add and commit command? What if we want to run uh, we want to undo our code after we have add but not commit? Or what if we want to undo our code after adding? and after committing, how, then how we can revert the code. So we'll see all these scenarios and let's let's get started one by one. So first of all, uh, before adding, before commenting, before everything, we, we have just saved the code. So how we can undo that? So we have a very simple command that says get restore and then the file minus minus file name. And if we want to undo multiple files, then we can say get restore minus minus dot. Let's do it practical. Okay, so in my uh, in my VS Code, for example, if I say here, I add uh, an H1 tag, and here I say this is my mistake, right? Remember, it is not saved yet because you can see a dot over there, right? So if I hit Control S or Command S, it will be saved. As long as, uh, I mean, the moment it will be saved, you can see M over here, that means the file is modified. So if I say get status, so you see it is modified and it, it is in red, which means that we have not added these changes. We have not staged these changes, right? Okay, cool. Now, uh, I think I've made a mistake over here. So I want to revert this mistake. I want to undo this. Now you might say that, hey, it's very simple. Just hit Control Z or Command Z, it will be removed. Or you can simply remove this uh, line by hitting backspace. Select it in backspace. Yeah, I can do that. You're 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 very smart. But this is just a dummy project that has at max three files in it. What if you're working in an industrial project that has hundreds of files and each file contains thousands of lines of code, and you have made changes in dozens of files? What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna go to every file and remove that particular particular line that you have written written just now what if you mistakenly removed um, such a line that you don't you did not want to remove right so uh, you don't want to mess around you don't want to mess with your code right so how can you fix it how can we fix it very simple if you read these two lines your work is done so it says use git add then file name to update what will be committed. So if we want to commit it later on, use git add, and we have been doing this. But we are not reading and doing what is written over here in the second line. It says, do this blah, 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 to discard changes in the working directory. So this is our working directory where we have, we have, made, we have made some changes. And yeah, we want to discard these changes. Um, how, can, how can we do that? So it says, git restore, and then the file name. So I'll say git restore and then um, I have to mention the file name over here. So my file name is index.html, dax.html. I, I can do it, do it like this as well. But if I don't want to do it like this, I can simply write git restore. And if you look over here, git restore minus minus dot. Oh, come on. So git restore minus minus space dot. So Whatever changes I have made in any file, those changes will be reverted. So what change I have made over here, I have added this line. So this line should be removed after I run this line. So I'll hit run. There we go. That change is gone. And now if I say git status, so here we go. It says your branch is up to date, which means that that we have not officially made any change in our working directly. The change that we made we have we are being able to undo that change. Now remember, this change was neither added, which means 
this change was neither staged nor nor committed right now what if we have staged the changes not committed but just staged the changes which means we have run git add then how to revert or undo that let's see in next video wait a minute I have made some changes in my code and have staged those changes, which means I've I've run git add command, but that was a mistake. I want to undo my code. Can I do that? Yep, yeah, you can. Sure, git got your back. So, if you have add the current changes, add means if you have staged the current changes, but you have not committed those changes, then yeah, we can do something for you, which means we can reset the code. Which we can reset our directory. So if we run git reset command and then the file name, and if we have multiple commands, then git reset nothing then, then um, then what, what we can do? We can revert the staged changes, which means the changes that, we that, that are pushed to the staging area, which means if we have run git add command. Let's see how we can do that. Remember this git reset command, that's it. Okay, so let's make some changes over here. Once again, let's say I'm adding an h2 tag over here okay so i'll say these changes will be reverted after staging right and yep that's it so i'll save it cool and i'll clear it now if i say git status cool it, it is saying uh, you have modified this file that is index.html, which makes sense. Now, um, let's push these changes to the staging area, which means we have we have to run git add command. So I'll say git add dot. Perfect. Now, if I say git status, the changes are there, and you see the difference in uh, difference in color. Here it was red before uh, pushing these changes to the staging area. Now it's green, which is mentioning that these changes are on staging area. Moreover. It is also saying uh, changes to be committed. So now we can commit these changes. But one more thing it is mentioning. It says use git restore dash dash staged then the file name to unstage. So if we want to unstage the changes that we have staged, we can use either this command or we can simply say git restore, right? Either are fine. So I'll say CLS just to clear it. So I'll say git reset what was the command get reset and then the file name right and what is the file name file name is index.html one more thing if you don't want if if you have multiple files uh, that are push, pushed to the staging area then all you have to do is you just have to say get reset and hit enter button now if i say get status here we go it is again red so now it has come back from staging area. Where is it right now? It is in our working directory. So right now we are on this level. So undo, if, if we want to remove these changes even from our VS code as well, then we are on this level. We can undo before add or commit. So right now our code, our changes are neither added nor committed, neither staged nor committed. So if you want to even remove it from our VS code as well, what do we have to do? We have to get restore, right? Simply. Um, so, and it is also mentioned over here as well. Remember the last video? So we'll say get restore minus minus dot. Hit enter, here we go, it is gone, ta-da. So this is how you can, so since it is a step-by-step -step procedure, here, when you were here, the, the changes were pushed to the staging area. So first you brought back the changes from staging area. Then the changes were there in your directory and you even want to remove, wanted to remove the, those changes from your directory as well. So you, uh, you opted the method that we learned in the last video, right? So this is how it works. But one more thing, what if we have added the changes, which means the changes are pushed to stage, staging area and we have committed the changes as well. Then what we can do? We can do something, yeah. Now the only and last possibility is 
variation of the possibility is we have pushed the code to the staging area, which means we have run git add, and then we have committed the code as well. So now code is committed, but we want to undo the code. We want to undo all the changes that we have done in the directory. So we, again, we have, we, we simply have to say git reset, and then there's a keyword called head. It's not just a keyword, it's, it's a complete concept. So let's learn about the concept of head first. So head means, imagine these circles as your commits. For, for example, right now you are in a branch where you are committing different codes, starting from this left-hand side, right? This is your first commit. And right now, ignore the numbering, right? I'll, I'll come to the num numbering later on. Cool. So this is your first commit. This is your second commit, then third, then fourth. And this green circle means that right now you are at this commit, right? And you have committed this code. Imagine that you have committed this code. Okay, you have run git add, git commit, and this circle, this commit is also committed. Now, what do you want to do? You want to undo what you have done over here. You don't want to keep the changes that, that are still here. So you want to go back to the previous commit. You want to go back to the previous circle, right? How we can do that? We can simply say git reset head. So, uh, which means that this arrow indicates that the head is here right now, right? So uh, the head of the git is here right now. So we want to shift head from this point back to this point, right? So how many commits do we want to jump? We want to jump only one commit. So that is why we'll say git reset head, take our head back where? Just one, uh, just one commit back, right? So if I'll say, that, that's a common sense question. If I say git reset head tilde two, which means that will come from this commit, current commit, to this commit, right? This one. Make sense? By the way, this is not minus sign. This is tilde sign. Uh, you can find it in the in the special keys, right? So I hope this makes, theoretically, this makes sense now. So uh, so so we have two way, uh, we have two possibilities. One is we want to go back to the previous commit. And the second possibility is we want to go back to, uh, we want to jump back to many, uh, many commits. First of all, let's talk about the simple case. We want to jump back to the previous commit. Then we'll talk about the difficult, not the difficult, but a bit complex case. So right now I am at this commit. I want to jump back to the previous commit. I want, I don't want to uh, look at the changes that I've made in, in the current commit. So let's go to our coding environment and let's make a commit over here. So let's say um, I have an H3 tag and I'll say these changes will be reverted after add and commit, right? And we, right now the changes are not saved. So I'll hit control S or command S. So changes are saved. So you see M over here that is indicating it is modified. So I'll say git status. So you can see the changes are here in working di directory. So I'll say git add dot cool again i'll say git status so changes are in the staging area if you want to go back from this point you know how to go back right you have seen the previous video now let's go one step ahead so i'll say git commit minus m and here uh, the message in the commit will be um learning how to revert after add comma commit, right? I'll hit enter over here. So all the changes should be committed now. So if I'll say CLS, I'll say get status. You see, my branch is, my working tree is uh, is clear now. One more thing. It is saying your branch is ahead of origin main. So the main branch that is on the GitHub, our branch is ahead of that main branch by one commit. But wait a minute. Oh, oh, I got to know uh, whatever the changes that I've made in my current commit, I don't want to keep those changes. I want to go back to my previous commit. How can I do that? We know how, how to do that. We have learned git reset head. I just want to go back by one commit. So I'll say git reset head tilde one, right? So I'll say git reset head, then tilde sign, sorry, and then one, right? Remember, I'm again saying it is not the minus sign, it is the tilde sign. So I'll hit enter over here. 
it says unstaged changes after reset and you can also see the m sign over here so now if i say get status here we go the changes are back to our directory the changes are not even staged anymore and if we want to even remove the changes from here you know what to do right you know what to do um okay now one more thing what if i have made multiple commits in my current branch and i want to go multiple commits back for example as i've shown over here right now i'm here i want to jump back to the commit number three for example this commit uh, that is actually my second commit so i want to jump back should i should i count how many commits i have done or something like that well i can do it like this as well but there's a better way there's a better way you can jump as many commits at as you want so first of all i'll say cls and here actually let me let me add this code again so i'll say git add dot and then i'll say git commit the same message i'll put over there again so learning how to revert after add and commit same message so my code is again committed i'll say git status cool so working tree is uh is, is clean and my com uh, my branch is one commit ahead cool so i'll say cls now if i say git log it will give me the log of all the commits that i've made so far right and my latest commit will be at the top right if you remember this is my latest commit learning how to revert after add and commit we committed this then we reverted and then we again committed the same commit right that is why it is at the top then we have <clears throat> sorry we have the second last commit then th the third last commit then the, uh, again the fourth last commit and so on and so forth we can we can have a look upon as many commits as we want cool okay now what if i want to revert back to this commit that says change uh, changes from ui branch or maybe even i i i want to go even further back um for example this changes from ma main branch right so i can go I, I can simply simply jump to any commit how there's a thing called hash you see this um this messed up code or something like that this is called hash you can say this is an address a unique key a unique address to every commit you simply have to copy this um select this hit control c or command c and then uh, uh right now i am in the in the log so if i want to get out of the logs i'll hit q and now i am out of the logs oh that okay and i'll cls right okay and if i and and again if i want to go back to that particular commit for, for which i have copied the hash so I'll, I'll say git uh, let me show you so git reset and then the hash of the commit we need to paste the hash of the commit rather than head minus my uh, head tilde one or head tilde two we need to just paste the the hash of the commit right so i'll say git reset and then i'll paste it right this is the hash that i copied from there i hit enter and here we go my changes are unstaged and not only for the current commit all the commits that came in between this commit and my current commit all the all the changes are unstaged and and one more thing if i now if i want to get rid of those changes from even from my vs code i'll have to i'll have to do something like like this get restored but what if i want to do all that stuff in just one command all you have to do is before writing the um the hash of the of the the ha hash of the commit we have to say minus minus hard so we want to reset hard which means that everything should be vanished from my vs code as well so if you run it everything will be vanished from your vs code as well so this is how we can revert we can undo our our code even before commit before committing and after adding even before adding and after committing i mean whatever is the sequence right so this is how it works mm -hmm.